Hi everyone, this is Ankan Sarkar and in this video I am going to talk about Pardot segmentation list. Types of list in Pardot. There are two types of list in Pardot that is static list or dynamic list. Static list is a list that consists of prospects that you build once and edit manually to make changes to it. We can use static list when we have no reason to remove prospects from the list and uh, such as a list of all prospects who complete your contact as form. You can also add prospect to or remove them from a static list as and when required. And uh, a dynamic list is a list that is rule based and it automatically updates when a prospect data changes. The benefit of a dynamic list is that it's created based on criteria and updates as prospect meets or fails to meet the criteria. A dynamic list is most helpful when you are creating a list based on prospect data that changes often. A dynamic list refreshes constantly, adding prospects who match the criteria and remove prospects who don't. As a side note, uh, if you create a static list, you can't convert it into a dynamic list and uh, but in case if you create a dynamic list we can then split that list and create static list as required now let me show you how to create your own segmentation list first we would be creating a static list in part of lightning go to prospects and in prospect go to segmentation and in segmentation uh, go to segmentation list uh, in segmentation list click on add list and uh, give the name of the list that you want to create let's see is test s for static and then create list now we need to add prospects to this list uh, in prospect go to part dot prospect Let's say I'm a, I randomly choose these prospect for now and go down and select add to list from here choose the list you want to add it and click on go now if I go back to segmentation list and go to the test static that I just created you can see that the four prospects that I have added are uh, present in the list. If you want to delete any of the prospects from this list, you can just simply click uh, on the checkbox and just remove from list and select the list from which you want to remove it from and click go and, and make sure that you don't actually uh, go to the gear icon and select delete because it won't just delete the uh, prospect from the list it would delete the prospect and now let me show you how to create a dynamic list for the dynamic list i have already created a dynamic list i um, i would not be showing you how to create a dynamic list because uh, it is similar to how we created a static list uh, that is give it a name and select this checkbox for dynamic list and, cre and create a list uh, so for a dynamic list it takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes to refresh the list based on the evaluation criteria uh, so I will just uh, give you a glimpse of how a dynamic list would be looking like so this is a dynamic list that I have created test D if you click on edit you will see that the evaluation criteria that I have put in this list uh, the evaluation criteria is match any of the criteria that is if prospect grade is greater than C or if the prospect assigned user is Piyush Arora so if I go back to this so it was that uh, grade greater than C and the assigned user is Pyushara. If you can see uh, there is a prospect which has grade C minus. If I open this prospect, you 
you can see that e even if the user if in if the prospect has a grade c minus but the assigned user is piyush arora that is why it's added to the list you might you might even be wondering why a list needs to be created a list is basically created for sending bulk email if you use a static list you would have to add the prospect to it manually or you can use a automation tool to add prospect to the static list in case if you use a dynamic list based on the evaluation criteria the prospect would be added or removed as per the value changes uh, for the prospect this is it for the video thank you for watching